Hello again, YouTube. We are back on Free Code Camp between JavaScript algorithms and data structures. We are in the regular expressions course on challenge 22 of 33. So today we're going to restrict possible usernames. So this is a very difficult challenge because it's the first regex uh, application that we've actually had to apply our skills that we just learned in. And this is a pretty complicated one to actually solve given uh, everything we've learned. We did, you know, we know everything that we need to solve this one, but now we actually have to put it all together. Um, and there are, you know, a number of constraints that we have to fit within. So uh, I had to take two tries off camera to solve this one myself, but now I am relatively confident in how to do it. Um, once again, we did learn everything in the previous however many 20 lessons. So you can definitely solve this on your own if you take the time, go back, look up how to do these things. But if you're stuck for more than 15, 20 minutes, definitely reference this video again and kind of... Uh, regroup and reorganize from there. So uh, let's see if I can go through this and figure this out. So in my opinion, besides the first step of problem solving, which is really what coding is, really what software engineering or development is, is problem solving. So the first step, the hardest part, has the first two steps really have been done for us. So the first step is to understand the problem. The second step is to pseudocode the problem, to break it down into smaller steps. So I understand what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to check if a username has certain things within it. And we've, you know, the pseudocode is already here. We already have a step-by-step -step plan on what we have to do to, to solve this challenge. Now we only have to convert it to code, which should be the relatively uh, easier part. You know, it's easier said than done. But let's see if we can figure this out. So these are the constraints. Usernames have to uh, only use alphanumeric. The only numbers in a username can be at the end, and there can be zero or more of them at the end, but the username cannot start with a number. So it's only numbers can be at the end, and the username has to start with a letter, is what I've determined from that. Case is irrelevant. It can be uppercase or lowercase. And usernames have to be at least two characters long. If it is a two character long username, it can only use letters. It cannot have numbers. So two characters or yeah, so two characters, only letters, anything more has to end in numbers. If it does end in numbers, has to end, can't be within it. So this is how we're going to break this down step by step. So I think the first part we should start with is the username cannot start with a number. That seems like the start of the username, we should start there. So let's, let's check that. So we know if we want to grab the start of the string, we want to find something at the beginning of the string, we can use the caret operator, the caret uh, selector. So at the beginning of the string, what do we want to do? We want to ensure that it is a letter. So let's ensure it's A through Z. Okay, so that ensures it's a letter. And now if it's a two character username, it can only be a letter. So let's let's knock this out off the bat because this is a, a very particular edge case that only happens with two characters. So if we have one letter and another letter, then we have two letters, right? Like it sure, I, I mean, clearly, if there has to be at least two letters, and then we can say plus whatever, so two or two letters or more till the end of the string, so the dollar sign, okay? So this expression is gonna look at the beginning of the string, find it, make sure it's a letter, make sure the second item is a letter, and then anything else that follows is a letter and ends there, right? So it starts with a letter, has another letter, one or more, and ends in a letter, right? So that covers just a letter username of two or more. Now we have to account for if it has numbers in it. So we can use the pipe operator to be a logical or. So if you don't know what the pipe is, it's the uh, under the backspace key. That's the or operator. It looks like that. If you press shift pipe, that's what you'll get. It is the same key as the backslash if you just press shift with it. So that's what we want to use. So we want a letter A through Z and another letter one or more A through Z or pipe operator. We want at the beginning of the string once again this is a basically like a this or that expression. This is basically a conditional expression at that at this point because we're using the or operator. So it can be two letters or more or it can be at the start of the string. So again, let's select the start of the string with the caret. We want to make sure it's a letter again. So it always has to start with a letter. And then it can have any number of more letters. So one or more 
is what the plus sign does, it gives us one or more. And then after that, we want any character. We just want to make sure that the, the string has one letter or more and any other character because, again, this first part ensured the two character. This is going to handle anything else, including numbers. So we want to make sure it has any letter or number following. Okay, so what we can do, we know how to select any character, A through Z, 0 through 9. We can use backslash W, lowercase w. So now we're looking for, at the beginning of the string, A through Z, and any number of, of letters, followed by any letter and or number right and then at the end of the string just to verify if there is a number it's it's ending with that number because again this checks for letters or numbers so there could be you know a number and then a letter and then a number we don't want that numbers have to be at the end so this checks if it's a letter or number that's fine and now let's ensure that a number is at the end so we're checking for letters numbers then just a number right and then we want to make sure that that number, that digit, is at the end of the string. So the dollar sign. So again, this is, I think, the expression that we need. Uh, okay, so this is not working because we did not account for number three. They can be uppercase or lowercase. So let's add ignore case, right? The flag I ignores capital or lowercase. And there we go. That's all we should need to do. So to break this down once again, this is the key of why this is working because we're using the pipe symbol, which is the or operator. So we're saying match this expression or pipe this expression, all ignoring case. Okay, so it's essentially two regex expressions here, but really it's one. So look at the beginning of the string, find a letter, A through Z, make sure there's another letter, A through Z, followed by any number of letters, one or more. Right, so two or more, all letters. This checks and says that's a match. The second half, after the pipe, after that pipe symbol, says, okay, look at the beginning of the string, A through Z, any combination of A through Z, one or more, so one or more characters, A through Z, that's what we need because it has to start with a letter, and then it can be followed by any number or letter, but has to end in a digit and the whole string has to end in a digit, right? Looking at the end, the uh, dollar sign has to end in a number, right? That's the expression. And then of course this flag applies to all of it saying when you're, when you're looking through all of it, when you're finding this expression, ignore capital or lowercase. And that's it. That's all we had to do for that one. This was a very challenging one. So it's not really like, that's it. This was a tough one. And again, I, I had to do this twice off camera to actually ensure I, I could follow my own logic and break this problem down. So if you're struggling with this one, watch the video, don't copy and paste type type deal. Go back, look at the lessons and do your best to solve it following the same kind of thought process I did. But again, last resort should be copy and pasting the solution. You want to come to this on your own, even if you did watch the video, because that's how you'll, that's how things will click the most in my opinion. So I hope that helped. I hope that made sense guys. If you have any questions, please leave a comment and I'll do my best to respond and I'll see you guys in the next lessons.